So you could tell that by the intro that I got three new well cars, which are all Maxi Fours. As you can see, they're they're one of these cars that you like pin to each other. They're they're like all one car because you just pin the pin a pin to the other one's wheel, and then you know you've got it all coupled, sort of. And then. So yeah, you can tell by the difference. This is 53 foot, and this is 48. So yeah, this this one is 53 foot. You can tell by the look at the container and on the very side text. 53 foot, as you can tell. And these guys are 53 foot as well. Now we got a discount, so... Uh, for somehow we got this broken seventy six dollars. Usually, stuff like this maxi usually maxi fours cost uh, like a hundred and eight dollars for three units. So we got three units and we got a really good discount. So um, yeah, and also we got. My BNSF locomotive fixed finally. Turns out it was a bad circuit. It, there was nothing wrong with the motor. They said it, the, um, the, the hobby store in Westminster, you, sh you guys should really check it out. It's super cool and it has everything you would need. And it has well cars and containers and stuff like that. And and uh, grain cars and all that cool stuff that you would need for HO scale, N scale, G scale, and uh, as well as O scale. So, um, so yeah, we got this from there. We got this from the hobby shop in Westminster. So it's like a half an hour drive here from Brea. Um, so, yeah. They said the motor was re as was a really good motor because Walters makes really good motors. The problem was a bad circuit inside the shell. Cause I, um, I must have been like I don't know. After I had the bad circuit, after like the circuit went bad or something, then uh. They put it on their, like, layout, and then they ran it for a couple seconds, and then it started smoking, and it got very hot. So, they they had to, like, put it on a notebook to cool it off, and then, um, like, that was so unusual. I've never seen anything like that, but their, um, tech, but their repair guy, um, but their repair guy said that he has seen it so he knows what to do so he took the shell off and found out what the problem was he checked out the motor and said there's nothing wrong with the motor so uh, he looked at the circuit and he goes like the circuit was terrible so uh yeah so he took the circuit out and then put a new one in and it runs so great this thing works even better than it ever did so uh yeah just thank you to that hobby shop but i have two more videos to upload now as as we have this new intermodal train pdtx uh but yeah let's run it around a little bit
So for this part, I thought I'd try something different. So, um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to bring the train around and you'll have to find out what happens next. So, yeah, um, let's do it. I'm going to unload the train and then you'll figure out what happens. I call my Lego layout Brixenville, so welcome to the port of Brixenville. Operations start at 8.40 in the morning sharp, however, preparations must be ended by 8.39 in the morning. So, so our first train comes in exactly 6 minutes, 6 minutes. It comes at 8.45 a.m. and we've got to get everything on the train. First, we must make sure if the train has enough room to pass this other, these leftover cars. I think so. In theory, we should have enough room for the, for the train to pass. It's now 8.42 in the morning here at the Port of Brisbaneville. The preparations have been ended and everything is ready for loading. However, the train is not here yet, but it will be here in three minutes. Ah, here comes the train. They must enter the port at 20 miles an hour. And now that the train has arrived, we can start operations. And you could see just how careful I was trying to be by the way my hands were shaking. Now the Chicago and Illinois Midland Boxcar, I decide not to load because I have nothing to load it with. <laughs> but anyway, let's load the next uh, container. And you could see just how early I was up in the morning here by me showing my pajamas. <laughs> But yeah, that was just a fun part at the end, because I thought I'd just make it, because why not? But anyways, uh, yeah, I felt really good to get my BNSF um, locomotive back, and these um, Maxi 4s are really, really good. Um, they, make, they make a great addition to my train, so 10 out of 10 for them. Uh, so... Yeah, uh, I guess that's it for this video, but maybe I'll run it around a couple more times.
once again, the new CSX Intermodal containers are great containers, and Maxi Ford, the Maxi Fords are great, and yeah, I'm so thankful for all of this. Um, yeah, and this is gonna be a great update for my layout. Um, I might add the new cars that were put on the turnout track. Uh, Back on the train in the next video, but I'm not sure I'll have to decide on that. For now, these cars do do the jobs, because they're like, I don't know, seven of them? So, <coughs> so yeah, with these new additions, it's seven cars, so without this addition, it would be just four. So, yeah, these might get the job done, but it, it, it I'll have to think, and... If I make my decision, then I will put the cars on the turnout track, back on the train. But you guys should let me know down in the comments below if you think I should do that or not. Because uh, I'm not sure about it. So, yeah, you just let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, thanks so much for watching, everybody. I really hope you like HO scale stuff. Um, if you do, then... Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and uh, I know you can't hit the notification bell, I can't figure out how to do that, but uh, maybe someday soon I'll figure that out, so, uh, yeah, but um, just methodically kick the notification bell, click the notification bell. Anyways, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, once again, like the video, subscribe for more HO scale content. Um, video garbage truck videography, fire buffing, uh, so much more, and uh, trains, um, rail fanning. I mean, so yeah, uh, really hope you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, um, have a good Sunday, everyone. Speaking of that ending, there, uh, I filmed this video on Sunday, but since it's not Sunday, um. Have a good Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm not sure when I'll post this video, but probably Tuesday. So have a good Tuesday.